I'm waiting for. Good evening, madam. Good evening, Paul. How are you doing? I'm doing fine by the grace of God. Uh, so what do you do now? What, what, what work do you do? I own a school. You run a school? Yes. Okay. I guess it's been tough for you, for the family, for Chrissy and everyone. How did it start as far as you're concerned? Yeah, it's been tough for us, but um, we've been able to hold on by the grace of God. Um, it started, I think, somewhere in September. One Sunday afternoon, I came back from church around 11, 30, 12. So I came and met my husband with two gentlemen. Mm -hmm. I greeted and he introduced them to me as um, Abu, who is the regional chairman for the Northern Region, mm -hmm. and then the other one, Ahmed, who is Abu's friend. Mm -hmm. So I just, you know, greeted them offer them water and then I left to the kitchen to take care of the family and you know the family lunch so about 30 minutes my husband told me he's going out with them to cocoa vanilla so they left and then he came back around five it was later on that he told me that um, Abu has you know approached him together with the other guy about a um, possible uh, sponsorship for the Black Stars. And Paul, you, knew, you know that over some time now, the Black Stars didn't have any sponsorship. And it was a big worry to him. So um, he was eager and very much enthused about the possibility of getting the sponsorship for Black Stars. So. Um, I guess that's how it, it started. So mm -hmm. I think the following week or two, um, they came again, Sunday afternoon. Same Sunday afternoon. Same Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And then he left with them. So, I mean, that's about how it started and how far, yeah. you know. So when they were preparing to go, did you know that they were preparing to travel to Dubai? No, because my husband didn't even travel from Accra. Oh, I see. He was on a um, calf um, um, appointment mm -hmm. mission. Mm -hmm. So he traveled from the uh, Morocco, Egypt to Dubai. So I didn't know. In fact, the first, um, just about it. Mm -hmm. After that, I didn't know anything about it again. Um, asking the details when they meet and all that. When you met the, when he, he introduced these two gentlemen to you, Abu and Ahmed, what was your what was your, when he came back and said they were talking about sponsorship what was your did you have any inclination any women do have intuition we hear did you have anything yes um i realized um something um i don't know what's the, the word something um fishy mm -hmm. for lack of a better word yeah about ahmed because Ahmed looked at me, you know, he looked at me mm -hmm. in a way, whether it was a good or a bad, but he looked at me that attracted my attention. So in my head, I was asking, why is he looking at me that way? And Paul, I offered them water. Mm -hmm. Abu drank the water. Ahmed didn't drink the water. He took the water, a bottle of water, but he didn't drink. But Abu, you had known. No, I, it was my first time of no, meeting Abu. But you knew of him? I know of him okay. as the regional, the new regional um, chairman. The RFA chairman for Northern Region. Yes. So he was a member of the football community. Yes. But Ahmed, you didn't know? At all. And Ahmed was the one who brought Abu to tell Kwesi that. Yes, so Abu brought Ahmed okay. to tell Kwesi that this is a guy he has met who claims he works with some people in Dubai. And those people, the Sheikh, are interested in sponsoring the league. So it was Abu who brought him to Kwesi and convinced him that indeed he knows him very well. So Kwesi took Abu's word and, you know. Um, did he, in the course of the process, did, did Kwesi hesitate? Was there some hesitation on his part at one oh, time? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, that one I, I, I know. Because at a point in time, he was saying that, I mean, conversation, you know, on phone conversation, he said, Abu, are you sure of these people? And, you know, I could hear, like, 
co convinced, you know. Or so they could hear him talking to Abu, Abu about the, how sure he is about those people. But I guess his eagerness to get the sponsorship um, mm -hmm. really, you know, also pushed him, even though um, he trusted Abu. But it was also because he was so much enthused about the fact that at long last we have some sponsorship for the league. The league and the Black Stars. And the Black Stars. Okay, so they went to Dubai back and forth, and mm. when he came back from Dubai the second or third time, did he tell you anything? Um, it was the, the third time that he said, um, I think they went the first. So this was around 2017. 2017, so it's so around it October, October, November. Yeah. Mm. That's a. So the third time he said, um, they went, the first one they didn't meet, the second one they met. That was when whatever happened, mm -hmm. happened. And then the third time that they were supposed to meet again, to meet the Sheikh again, um, they went, there was no show. So he came back and then he, I think he, 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 he was not too pleased about the fact that they, they, they had to go there and they didn't meet no. For the first time, they didn't the meet The third him. time. Oh, they met him before? Yes. And then the third time they went back? Yes. When did this filming money issue happen? The second time or the first I time? I think that the second time. Okay. So after that, they had to go and meet him again? Yes. Did he explain to you the circumstances of, of when he met him, how many people were with him and all that? No. You know, my husband does not um, talk about official things with me unless it becomes necessary. Mm -hmm. So... Even though I knew that he was going to meet so-called investors, but he didn't tell, give me the details. It was the third one that he himself, you know, I think he sensed. When he went the third time the and third didn't time. meet the sheikh? Yes, he sensed What that. was the reason why the sheikh didn't show up? I don't know. I'm sure then they have gotten what they wanted. The second time they have done the recordings. Okay. So, I mean, basically... It's, so then, when, when even he calls the one, the number, um, the phone was switched off. Several times the phone was switched off. But Abu was with him throughout? Abu was with him throughout. Were, was Abu, were they both perplexed about what was happening? Did you get the sense that there was... My husband was perplexed. Mm -hmm. I don't know about Abu because I, and I don't have any relationship with him. Okay. But my husband was obviously perplexed and he was like, is this really true? He was not even thinking about filming. filming, but he just got a sense that maybe it's a sham. They, they are not capable of sponsoring. So they are running away. They are running away. So it was later then we realized that this was the motive for all that happened. Did you, at, at which point did, did he notice because we all got to know about March, April, and then June, the film was showed. Uh, when did he know that something had happened? He, he, he knew, somebody told him, he knew some, it's somewhere in January mm -hmm. that something has happened. January of 2018? 2018. Okay. This is six months before the film. Yes. Was How did, did he January, get to February, know? <laughs> I don't know if I'm, I'm permitted to say uh, Mm. all that but he got to know okay anyway and so um he tried now to find out why such a thing show why did you film him in film that him in that, in yeah. that uh, and then he, he got to know those who were behind it so he became a little bit apprehensive and naturally so so he contacted a friend who is also in the football that this is what has happened and that friend promised that he can help, you know, talk to whoever. Did they show him a film? Did they show he him something that had been recorded? He had it. That he this is what has been recorded of yes. you? Yes. They showed it to him? They showed it to him. He had Ooh. it. But the sound was not there. Well, there was no sound. Yes. But they showed him the video. Yes. So he could see himself with the shake. Yes. Okay. So then he realized that, wow, um, this is what has happened to me. Hmm. But then it was too late. <laughs>